I'm Dr. Raymond Lamb, Professor of Psychiatry at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. It's my pleasure to provide some insights into our paper published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry titled The Efficacy of Measurement-Based Care for Depressive Disorders, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis of Randomized Controlled Trials. This study was conducted by our students, Maria Zhu, Lana Hong, and Tao Yang, along with my collaborators at the University of British Columbia and at the Shanghai Mental Health Center in Shanghai, China. First, measurement-based care, or MBC, is important because it's an evidence-based approach to improve outcomes in patients with psychiatric disorders. Of course, all medical care is measurement-based, but in psychiatry, we refer to measurement-based care as the routine use of validated rating scales integrated into clinical care, review of the scale scores with the patient, and then using scores to inform shared decision-making, such as timely adjustment to medications. Previous reviews have examined the efficacy of MBC for mental health outcomes, but those studies involved a broad range of mental health conditions using a variety of general outcome measures. We thought it was important to summarize the evidence for efficacy of measurement-based care, specifically in the treatment of depressive disorders, focusing on the most rigorous studies. Our systematic review was conducted according to standard PRISMA methods. We searched for randomized controlled trials that use measurement-based care for adults diagnosed with depressive disorder using validated criteria. We defined a measurement-based care intervention as routine use of depression outcome scales with practitioner review of scores to inform clinical decisions with or without treatment algorithms. We did not limit the type of treatment used because measurement-based care has been found to be useful for both pharmacotherapy and psychotherapy. After reviewing over 7,000 articles with our search, we found seven studies that met our eligibility criteria involving over 2,000 patients. Of the seven randomized trials, three were from China, two from Germany, two from the United States, and one from Sweden. All seven studies compared measurement-based care with treatment as usual. The follow-up durations ranged from three to 12 months. Even though we did not limit studies based on the type of treatment, all seven of the included studies involved pharmacotherapy. In our meta-analysis results, we found that clinical response, defined as 50% or greater improvement in depression outcome scores, was not significantly different between measurement-based care and usual care conditions. However, both clinical remission and endpoint depression severity were significantly better in the measurement-based care group compared to usual care. For example, the unadjusted remission rates were 53% for measurement-based care compared to 43% for usual care. The effect size for the standardized difference in the endpoint depression scores was 0.53 in favor of measurement-based care, which is considered a medium effect that is clinically relevant. We also found that medication adherence was significantly better in the measurement-based care group compared to usual care. The limitations of our study included high risk of bias in several of the studies, heterogeneity between studies with many differences in methodologies, and that only pharmacotherapy studies were identified. Regardless, our results show good evidence that, compared to usual care, measurement-based care improves depression outcomes, at least with pharmacotherapy treatment. However, it's not enough to show that measurement-based care delivers better outcomes for patients. There are still many barriers and challenges that limit the use of measurement-based care in clinical practice. Our meta-analysis study is part of a larger research program to examine how to best implement measurement-based care in clinical settings, including a large project to evaluate technology-enhanced measurement-based care using smartphones via WeChat in the mental health centers in Shanghai. We've developed many resources to help clinicians integrate measurement-based care into their practices. And those resources are available free on our website, workingwithdepression.ca. Thank you.